a number of people on YouTube wanted me to show them my uh, entire binder or collection of uh, NASA autographs and this is almost all of them there are a couple in picture frames that I can't show and this is just a binder I picked up for free and put a, a, a picture of the earth in in the uh, um, cover here and these are just my checklist of all the the shuttle missions and the ones that are marked are, mean that I have people who have signed on those particular mission envelopes this is just a more current list of those and um, the way that I get all my envelopes, uh, here's some um, miscellaneous stickers but for example these ones were given to me but the way I get most of these envelopes is I go on eBay and, and go to the uh, stamp or envelope section at collectibles and then I look for uh, space envelopes that are uh, in the dollar category most of them are a dollar free shipping or a dollar with another dollar shipping and usually the sellers will combine so if you buy ten of them sometimes you pay only the one or two shippings for those and so um, a good example of many of those are in my other binder this is a binder I picked up for two dollars and it's for first day covers and um, the, the seller just wanted to get rid of it at the um, stamp and coin show that I went to we go to the, the NASA one these are all ones that I don't have signed um, for one reason or another maybe I already have somebody for that mission or uh, they're so obscure or maybe the people um, astronauts have died or the engineers that worked on the on the project are deceased but you can see um, lots of examples of, of envelopes of satellites and other other space missions the, the STS-28 shuttle launch so those are some of the envelopes I have some of the other things I store in photo pages like these patches that I either bought or were given to me um, or I've, I found a lot of these in mixed in with a uh, Boy Scout patches and then of course the stickers go on the pages too and then I just use baseball card pages to store all my space related stamps most of these are foreign in fact not all of them and they're not very expensive they usually cost about a nickel or less at, at the local coin shop and most of these you know they printed jillions of them so um, but sometimes if I have extras I'll give them to the astronauts that I'm writing to for for their own collection and there's some of those and then you know 8 by 10s will go on the 8 by 10 pages this is Joe Engel and it's not signed because I don't think that Joe Engel signs or, or here's a, a, a mock-up of, a, of a, some sort of space uh, craft I don't know who would sign that one uh, here's a Mary Cleave and I found that at Goodwill uh, they were gonna throw that away so it only cost me like a nickel for that picture Mary Cleave I don't know if she signs I can't find an address for her this is a neat one here I found this at Goodwill and again it probably cost me about five or ten cents and this is a stamp commemorative commemorating the space accomplishments from 1967 it's got actual stamps on it um, uh, for Mercury and and just a, a shuttle or I mean space uh, um, astronaut there and it's got all the uh, classic astronauts on it and that was 8x10 I thought that was pretty neat so I saved it these are very unusual these are my NASA um, uh, from I can't remember which space mission it but it's a payload bayliner that was actually flown on the space shuttle and I found these at Goodwill also and I got about six of them they retail for about 15 to 25 bucks each and there's six of them um, I'll show most of the autographs in slideshow form but I'll show you that some of them are in pages like this uh, with uh, corner tabs photo tabs and some of them are in uh, special envelopes that are designed for stamps and some of them are in these uh, ultra pro uh, double pages and then I just double them up on the back so I'll show the rest of them in slideshow format um, I'll just flip through this really quickly here and um, so that's essentially my binder of uh, NASA stuff